Hi, this is Alon from the Sitefinity SDK team. Sitefinity 7.1 introduces the multiple child type functionality in Module Builder. It removes the current restriction of having only one child type in a module type hierarchy. Let's say that you have a hierarchy module type countries and child type cities. For this demo, my countries type already has an additional child type, festivals, and I'll add yet another child type to it, and we'll see how it works. I have here a running instance of Sitefinity. You can see that I have the countries listed, and when I click a specific country, I'm redirected to the country page, and I see the details of that country, and also a list of cities and festivals in that specific country. Let's go back to the home page. Let's see how to add an additional child type and set its parent to the country type that I've defined. Let's log into the back end. And under administration, I'll go to the module builder. Here I have one module called traveling agency. I'll click it to explore what types it has. You can see that the traveling agency module has a few types defined to it. First we see the countries and under countries we can see two different child types, cities and festivals, and cities also has two child types of its own, hotels and restaurants. Let's add another content type, which will be a third child type to the countries type. I'll call this one airports. The parent will be the country type. I have here already a title. Let's add another field airport code and uh, finish. Now the airports type is added as a child type of countries which already has three child types. Now let's navigate back. Now in the content let's go to the traveling agency grid. I can see the root types that I have but here I also have links to child types of that specific one. So if I click cities under Spain, I'll get a list of cities which are specific to Spain. Let's go back to countries. If I go to festivals, you can see the festivals in Spain. Now back to countries. Let's add an airport in Italy. Just quickly create an airport. We'll call it and go back to countries and add one airport in Bulgaria and go back again. Now let's see how we can filter the child dynamic objects by their parent object. Let's go to pages and I'll open the country page which lists the information for a specifically selected country. You can see that I have here the countries widget and below I have cities and it says it will display cities from the currently open countries. Same for festivals. Let's drag another widget, go down to the traveling agency section and drag an airports widget here. First it will show all the airports that I have in the system. Let's edit the widget properties and I'll select to show airports from the currently open country only. Let's change the list settings and make it a list of airports. And save. Now it says display airports from the currently open country. Let's publish this page and go back to the front end. Here's the home page again. Let's scroll down to countries and if I click Bulgaria We'll see now the Bulgaria country information, down here the cities, and here we have the Sofia International Airport listed. If I go back and click Italy, scroll down, and we can see cities in Italy, festivals in Italy, and a list of airports in Italy, in which case only the one that I've added. For more information about the new API and how to use multiple child types in Sitefinity 7.1, you can go to our documentation portal and check out our examples. 
In addition, we're preparing a traveling agency demo site that fully utilizes the multiple child types functionality and it will be available soon on GitHub. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.